Cold weather and water don't quite fit in together. Whenever we think of snow and blizzards, we intuitively don't want water in the same picture, as water can make things worse, right? Not quite. Our air has a certain amount of water vapors in it, all the time. These water vapors are responsible for the humidity of the air. When the relative humidity of air falls below 30%, things start going south. Lack of moisture can cause a number of problems for us, including skin irritation, dry throat, frequent coughing, etc. That's where humidifiers come to the rescue. The humidifiers increase the moisture content in the air and make the inside of your house livable. So, how does a humidifier work? And how to know when it is time to install a humidifier? Stay tuned till the end of the video as we discuss this and more. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to Wellness, your one-way ticket to a healthy and happy life. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel as we bring you amazing health tips regularly. Also, press the bell icon as well so you never miss another video. Let's get back to the humidifiers. How do humidifiers work? A humidifier is as essential in the winters as the heating unit, or even more, as you'll find out later. Just warming up the air isn't enough. You also need to maintain a certain amount of moisture content in the air. As the temperatures drop, the ability for the air to carry moisture decreases, and with gas heaters being used widely, the remaining moisture also gets drawn out before you know it. The humidifier saves us the trouble by normalizing the humidity levels. Different types of humidifiers achieve this differently. While we're at it, let's look at the popular types of humidifiers first. Number 1. Central Humidifier Central humidifiers are the most expensive option when it comes to humidifiers, but they make sure that you are not exposed to dry air anywhere in the house. They are built into the air conditioning or heating units of your house. They humidify or moisturize the air as it passes through the HVAC duct of your air conditioning system. So you don't need to worry about buying a separate humidifier or about replenishing its water supply. Another perk of installing these expensive yet reliable humidifiers is that they don't cause steam burns like some of the other humidifiers on our list. So they are a better option if you have small children in the house. Number two, evaporative humidifiers. The simplest humidifier is a bucket of water. That makes up for the lost moisture as the water in the bucket evaporates. You add a fan to the equation and you've got yourself an evaporative humidifier. To go into a little bit more detail, the fan draws air that blows through a moist filter, which is at the bottom of the humidifier. This speeds up the vaporization process as the water turns into vapor, it's blown out into the room atmosphere to make up for lost moisture, so that you don't have to pay the price. It has less upfront cost as compared to the central humidifiers, but it needs frequent cleaning. Also, moisture content needs to be monitored during its operation, as it sometimes has a tendency to release more moisture than needed. Number 3. Impeller Humidifier These humidifiers are also known as cool mist humidifiers because they create cool mist. Duh. This cool mist is pushed out into the room by high-speed rotating discs. Their simple operation makes them less expensive than some of the other options. Another advantage of this kind of humidifier is that it is child-friendly too. Also, due to its quiet operation, often this kind of humidifier is used in libraries and offices. Now let's look at some downsides to this humidifier. Firstly, water needs to be changed regularly because you don't want to deal with bacterial or moldy mist. Trust me. Also, if overused, they can cause breathing difficulties for people with asthma. Number 4. Ultrasonic Humidifier Its working is similar to the impeller type, except it uses a vibrating disc instead of an impeller to create mist. The disc vibrates at ultrasonic speeds to create water droplets, hence the name. They are available in both cool mist and warm mist versions. Since the water doesn't boil in this kind of humidifier, there is a risk of bacteria in the water that can get released into the air so it might require disinfection for safer use. It is also child-friendly. Number 5. Steam Vaporizers Here comes the cheapest of all, steam vaporizers. Basically, they heat the water electrically to get vapors. Since these vapors are very hot, they are first cooled before being released into the atmosphere. Remember we mentioned something about steam burns. This is the type of humidifier that can cause them. So it is not advisable to use this humidifier near children. It is difficult to tell when the air in your home has become dry. That's why we are going to give you five signs that can give you a clue about when to use a humidifier. If you see one or more of these signs, then you better install a humidifier in your house or office. Number one, sparks flying around. Don't worry, we're not talking about the electricity in your switches. We're talking about the static charge that gets built up. The reason you don't see or experience the static charge is that the moisture in the air blocks the static electricity and charge buildup. 
When that moisture decreases in the winters, then we start getting electrocuted by touching different surfaces, especially metals. So, if the sparks have started to fly in your house, then it might be time to finally think about installing a humidifier. Number two, dry skin and tethered lips. Humidifier, please. If your skin is dry and your lips are always in bad shape in winter, that's a telltale sign that you need a humidifier in the house. It turns out the dry air of winter sucks the moisture out of stuff, and that includes you. You must have heard the famous term called osmosis. In short, it is the phenomenon of the tendency of water or solvent, as they call it, to go towards the mixture with a lesser percentage of solvent, or simply, it is the same as the concept of water always going downstream. So the moisture of our skins and lips goes downstream towards the dry air as it contacts us. That's why no amount of moisturizer seems enough. Number three, waking up with congestion is not normal. Cold weather doesn't mean that you also need to suffer from cold. See what I did there? If you are constantly suffering from sore throat, runny nose, and congestion, especially when you wake up, then you may just need to install a humidifier. It turns out that the dry air is not only bad for your skin, but it also is irritating the whole respiratory system. Exposure to the cruel winter air dries out our mucous membrane. This membrane is our first line of defense against viruses and microbes. That explains the frequent colds and congestion. However, it is important to note here that dryness might be the reason for your continuous cold symptoms. But there might be some other issues to blame too, so it is best to consult a doctor first. Number four, cracked wooden floors. It's not just us. The dry air doesn't go easy on our expensive wooden floors and shelves, too. This dry air is hungry for moisture, and if you don't provide it that through a humidifier, it will absorb moisture from wherever it can find. So after sucking your skin dry, it turns to your wooden floors and shelves and dries them out, too, which makes them crack. So if you observe your floors cracking, then it is time to think about... No, it, it is already past the time of thinking about anything. Just install a humidifier, and don't forget to get your floors repaired. Number 5. Nosebleeds look cool only in the movies. A nice cold December afternoon, you're sitting on your rocker chair, contemplating life's bigger questions, and down comes a stream of hot red fluid running from your nose. So much for contemplation. If this has become something like a routine for you, and you are not suffering from any serious illness, then the dry air might be the culprit here. We talked about how dry air dries out our mucous membranes and our nasal cavity. Well, the nosebleeds also occur due to the same reason. There is a delicate membrane that lines our nasal passageway. The low humidity air can make this membrane dry and it can crack. This can cause a nosebleed. The only way to avoid this discomfort is to feed the beast what it needs, moisture. The humidifier is the way to go. Often we overlook the importance of humidity and focus solely on the temperature. That can lead to a dry atmosphere inside the house, which can cause many issues like dryness of skin, nosebleeds, congestion, etc. To prevent this, purchase a hygrometer to keep an eye on the humidity level inside the house. If you can't do that, then the five signs that we shared with you today might help you to know when the humidity levels drop. Once you know that, then it is time to make an investment in a quality humidifier. You can refer to the different types of humidifiers that we shared with you. We hope that you benefited from this video. If you did, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family so that they know about different humidifiers and also about when to use one. Want to see more videos like this one? Please subscribe to our channel. Welcome to Wellness and press that bell icon as well so you never miss another video. We'll see you in another healthy video. Until then, take care.